Chocolate, to some a luxury, to others a necessity, but not all chocolate is created equal. Well, Fasha's exists uh, in a, there's a lot of chocolate manufacturers out there, a lot of the household names that people know, like a Whitman's or even a Godiva, um, they're mass produced and they have to do things in fairly large batches. Fasha's does things in a very uh, small batch way, very much like people could do it in their own kitchen. We do have equipment that helps us um, make more, but we really don't cut any corners. We start with the most basic of ingredients. In Waterbury, Connecticut, Fasha's Chocolates, a family operation for almost half a century, makes quality chocolate. Their method is both an art and a science. Fasha's Chocolate started in 1964 out of John and Helen Fasha's house. John was working in a factory and they wanted to supplement their income with their first daughter being born and they started making chocolate out of their basement. For 15 years they were in their basement until they moved out and here 46 years later we still make chocolate. There are three daughters in the family, all are working here. I married the eldest one and uh, we have a family operation still making chocolate the way we did 46 years ago. Fasha's uses a Swiss-style chocolate, Peter's, an extremely high-end brand sold only to confectioners. Real chocolate is made up of cocoa butter and chocolate liqueur. To be used for coating or dipping, chocolate must be tempered, a method of heating and cooling. Proper tempering will give the chocolate a smooth, glossy finish and a crisp, clean snap when it's broken or bitten into. The process of making cordial cherries is labor intensive. Large, high quality maraschino cherries are thrown into the mixing drum, where they are sprayed with a mixture of the cherry juice and other ingredients. Powdered sugar is added, and the cherries are put aside on trays. Once inside the chocolate covering, this sugar coating will break down and cordialize into clear syrup. Next, a chocolate bottom is put under the cherry, which will prevent it from rolling around on the conveyor belt. It will then be covered in either dark or milk chocolate from the waterfall-like Enrober. The cherries are coated twice for a thick shell, as the liquid center sometimes will spring a leak. They are then hand-marked with a C for cherry, before making their way through the cooling tunnel, off the conveyor belt, and trade. Finished, the handmade chocolate-covered cherries weigh about one ounce apiece. Making butter crunch, also known as toffee, is a two-day process. Butter is boiled in a large copper kettle at over 300 degrees. Once the butter is completely broken down, sugar and water are added and everything is stirred. As the mix reaches the proper temperature, it now becomes a two-man job. The kettle is removed from the boiler and brought over to a marble slab where the mix is poured out. The butter crunch is smoothed, then scored, before it completely cools. After five to 10 minutes, it will take on a glass-like texture and become hard enough to break up by hand along the score marks. The cooling of the pieces will continue overnight. The next day, the butter crunch pieces are put into the enrober, covered with milk chocolate and sprinkled with crushed almonds. After cooling, the butter crunch is ready for packaging. Gourmet truffles are a specialty of Fasha's. To create the rich, creamy centers, dark chocolate, cream, and other ingredients are whipped together. The mix is set out on the marble slab and allowed to cool. It's then formed into a football-shaped mound and allowed to harden overnight. The next day, the mound is scooped into small balls, which are rounded by hand and coated in cocoa powder. The truffle centers are then enrobed in either dark or milk chocolate and sprinkled with a chocolate topping. Fasha's makes a half dozen flavors of gourmet truffles throughout the year. Fasha's makes a variety of chocolate specialty items. For a sweet salty taste combination, you can try chocolate covered potato chips or chocolate covered pretzels. If you like nuts with your chocolate, they make nut clusters and pecan turtles. Fasha's also makes chocolate pops, which can be customized for any occasion or holiday. They also mold chocolate for corporate clients, special events, parties, social functions, or just about any need. 
You like chocolate peanut butter cups? You'll never eat another Reese's after having one of Fasha's peanut butter cups. So the next time you're feeling that chocolate craving or you want that perfect gift for the chocolate lover in your life, treat yourself to some quality chocolate.